Greetings and welcome to How Railways Work. Today we're going to be looking at head coats. And I... Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? This is my video. Is it? Yes. Alright, fair enough. Bloody coffee cats. I heard that! Hello and welcome to How Railways Work. Today we're going to be doing about head coats. Those demonstrated here by my friend the B1. So I've jumped into the trains of a new era to have the help of Thomas and his friends. Now I'm using the 1962 rule book because that's basically all I could find in my research. So, starting off with class 1 which is the express passenger, newspaper, emergency or high special priority trains. So these would be trains that would get the quickest clearance through a section. Um, and here that's being demonstrated by Gordon. Of course, like I said, class one express and everything at high priority, they get the run of the line. Class two is your ordinary passenger train, mixed train or breakdown not going to clear the line. So this would, again would be the local passenger trains stopping at every station, uh, tra passenger trains with some goods, tra goods wagons attached to it, and of course breakdown trains coming back from clearing an accident, here being demonstrated by Edward. They only get the one lamp on the top of their um, smoke box. Class 3 is goods vans or empty coaches. So this is a train completely built of just vans of goods, so boxes, box cars for the Americans, or empty stock being sent back to the depot, being demonstrated by here by James here. Class four is the exact same layout as you can see here, but it's known as express goods with at least ninety percent fitted good wag wagons. So this will be uh, trucks and vans fitted with air brakes so if they've got 90% of the wagons are fitted with air brakes this is the code they'll wear. Class 5 is pretty much the same again but with 50% of the wagons fitted with air brakes. Class 6 is only 25% fitted with air brakes. Uh, class 7 is completely unfitted so they have no braking system from the engine they would have to have a brake van attached as well which they tend to do anyway but for the guard but yes this would be where um, there'd be absolutely no braking on the rest of the train it's all up to the engine and the brake van. Uh, class 8 is through goods unfitted so this would be slow goods trains uh, low priority stuff um, and again completely unfitted with um, brakes Class 9, um, which is being demonstrated here by Thomas, is the branch train, stopping goods trains, so en engines, tra trains with goods on that need to stop at every station to unload some cargo, say, I don't know, a post train or something. And then ballast train required to stop in section. Now, if you go back to my last episode on signalling, you'll know a bit more about sections, but this would be train, like I said, the ballast train, that needs to stop in the in between two signal boxes to f unload some ballast onto the tracks and help repair the line. Class zero is light engine being de again demonstrated here by James. These will be engines that have got absolutely no train attached to them, and they're just heading back to the depot after stopping off at a station or somewhere else or a yard or something. They're just running back completely empty basically they have no job to do they just need to go from point A to point B the only other two that I can't demonstrate at this time is tail lamps which is basically the same as the express with the two uh, front the two lamps on either side of the foot plate um, but these would be red to indicate the engine is going in reverse and then the royal train, where every single lamp iron, the, the, the pillar, the, the spike, 
that the lamps attach to will be fitted with a light with a lamp this means that as being a royal train there is someone of royalty on board that loco on board that train again they would be given the highest priority and everything including the express expresses would be shunted to one side to make way for it and that's pretty much everything i can find about head codes it's through my research i haven't found much documentation on it so this will have to do i'm afraid thank you and goodbye